Hey guys, this is part two of my video that I was just doing. Um, the first video was basically, it was about a dream I had. It was a Princess Bride reference dream, basically, and it was a channeled message. And it was basically, um, just to sum it up really quick, for those of you that didn't see part one, it's basically just the, um, the Divine Masculine or the Divine Feminine letting you know that they never chose the karmic over you. Like, for those that are in the third party group where the, the karmic is an absolute psycho that's lost the battle long, long ago, months, years ago, like, this situation's been over for a long time, but she wants to blame you and pretend like, you know, things would be different if you weren't in the picture. Like, if you're dealing with, like, a straight psycho, then you're probably in my third party group. Um, I mean, you're probably, you know, in that energy group that I channel. So the message I got, just to just to reiterate really quickly, and then I'm going to move on to the rest of the message for those that are, you know, not in a third party situation, because I'm feeling like communication is coming in for a lot of people, not just those that are in that third party energy. But um, but the message I got was basically that your masculine or feminine was wanting you to wanting you to know from the Princess Bride reference I got that, and this was through a dream. They're wanting you to know that they never really chose the karmic. The karmic was basically threatening them and threatening to hurt you, threatening to hurt themselves, threatening to do this, that. The threats don't work anymore. It's not, you know, we've been over that. It's not something you need to worry about anymore. Like the divine masculine doesn't take her seriously. The divine feminine doesn't take her seriously. Everyone knows she's powerless. The whole community knows that she's powerless and pathetic at this point. But but they basically wanted you to know, like, why that happened. Some of you are not aware. Some of you, your person is still living with this person. For others, they've already moved out. But they, your person just wanted you to know, like, hey, I didn't actually choose them over you. I was threatened into staying. You know, I never would have chosen this other person over you. Like, this was just, like, you know, them giving into the, their fear in the moment. But they want you to know that they're stronger now. They're smarter. They're more intuitive. And that there's not a single thing in the universe that would make them ever go back to the karmic again. Like, they want you to know that. Um, the other message I was getting was, let's see, there was something about, like, gaslighting, too. Like, some of you, for those in third-party situations, and I'm going to get into just the regular love story for those that, you know, may or, like, may or may not be in third-party situations. It could apply to either. Because I kept getting, like, expect communication. So I do want to just you know, pull some love cards and, and do just a general love reading for those, you know, for everybody, not for just for my third party group. I know there's a lot of third party emphasis on this channel, but, um, but anyway, the other message was don't let anyone gaslight you. Don't let the karmic gaslight you because for many of you, your person is breaking, whether it's your divine feminine or whether it's your divine masculine, someone is breaking here. And this is for a third party. This is for, um, just, you know, general, even if you're not in a third party, someone with this Mercury retrograde energy, especially someone's just breaking. Someone are just is just at that point where they for those in separation, someone's at that point where they just cannot handle being away from you any longer. So expect a message, expect be on a look, be on the lookout for like some kind of message, some kind of communication. This could be a phone call, a text, an email, something on social media. You know, just be kind of mindful and aware of that. You know, be prepared for that message. And then you might also be getting a message from the karmic at the same time for those in third-party situations. Just to reiterate really quick, and then we'll get into the love reading. But, you know, the karmic might try to gaslight you and say, like, oh, like, he's free to leave. But little do you know, she's trying to block the door. She's not actually letting him leave. You know, so she might be aware of this communication and she's going to try to come in, too. Um, especially this came out strongly too for like those of you that are still like for those that your person's still living with the karmic. Um, I'm just getting the sense that like she might try to gaslight you. She might try to lie about him. She might try to lie about the situation. She might, she'll say whatever she wants to say. You know what I mean? Like she's, del they're delusional. The third parties in this energy group are completely delusional, completely psychotic. So she might just lie and say like, you know, who who knows with these karmics but you're you're smarter than that you're intuitive more intuitive that and than that and so is your person so she can't really gaslight jack shit but it's just kind of like a warning to be on alert don't even bother answering your phone honestly if you know who it is um because yeah some of them will tell you like oh he's free to go but then they're gonna block his door they're gonna threaten him they're gonna they're gonna try to slit his tires or do this do that like 
you know, it's, it's like almost like it was almost like a kidnapping. It's really creepy. Like some of these karmics straight up practically kidnap the divine masculine. Like they don't even give a shit. Like they don't, they, they have to know that he doesn't love them. Like, I don't know. How could anyone be that delusional? But, um, anyway, that's for those in the third party group. You know, I went more into that story in my, um, my first video. This one's meant to be more just like the general love reading. It's just kind of a warning for those in a third party situation that, you know, expect some kind of communication from the psychotic karmic. Don't feed into her drama. These succubuses thrive off drama. They thrive off of attention. You know, that's what succubus spirits do. So don't, don't be gaslit by her. Don't believe her lies. Just shut her out. Just block her number. Don't even bother with it. The hoes can be mad. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, I want to get into a love reading just for everybody. This is for, this is just for no contact. I'm feeling like, just like the collective energy, this is for several people where I feel like there's someone that misses you that's, um, just really close to breaking. Like, I just feel like they're like, especially with this Mercury retrograde energy, I'm hearing like it's spooky season. Like we need to be cuddling during spooky season, you know, like I'm hearing like that energy, like that kind of like romantic, like someone's just like close to caving. Yeah, someone's afraid that you're dating other people or that you're going to end up dating other people. You know, for those that you haven't talked in a while, like some of you have not talked to your person for months or even years for some of you. Like, I mean, I don't want to say years. That's a long time. But I mean, for the gay love story, I did get that it was like three years without contact. But this was coming back around for that person. So who knows? There's no one like you, I realize, now that I won't be able to find a love like ours with someone else. So, yeah, um, and third party or not third party, whatever, you know, whatever, this is just for, for those that resonate with this. It's like someone's afraid that you're going to end up dating someone else. Like, they're kind of getting scared because time has gone by. Maybe you haven't reached out. Um, and so they're, like, a little bit worried here. And they're realizing, like, if you did move on, they kind of realize, too, that they wouldn't be able to move on. They wouldn't be able to find someone else like you. You know, they wouldn't be able to just forget about this. Like, my feelings for you are stronger than I let on. Thought about going on vacation with you. Yeah, some of them are there wanting this new start with you. Some of them are wanting to take you somewhere. Just where it can be just the two of you. I want to fix this, but I'm not sure where to start. I'm trying to get my life together so I can come to you with a stable love offer. Yeah. I feel like one person, because I just get like this sense of like, it's a strange energy, but almost like, it's like impatience, but like someone's like broken or someone's like close to breaking. So it's like, there's one person here that's like, oh, I'm trying to get it. Like, I don't want you to date anybody else. Like, I'm jealous and I want to fix this. I just don't know how to start. Like, I'm kind of just dreaming and fantasizing about you. Um, I'm trying to get everything together, trying to make everything stable so I can come to you with a stable love offer. You might be the person in this energy and you might be getting an unexpected message, you know, or vice versa, you know, take it as it resonates. But someone's in this energy of like taking too long, like they're jealous and they don't want to see you with anybody else. Um, and their feelings are very strong for you, even though they're kind of hiding their feelings and they do want to fix things with you. But maybe you guys got in fights or maybe there was just miscommunication or whatever it might've been. You know, some of them, it's like they did for those in a third party. It's like, maybe they did choose the karmic, but again, they did it because, you know, they were being threatened into it. They never would have chosen the karmic. Otherwise there's no love there at all. But you know, now it's like they want to fix this, they want to say something, but they're not sure what to say. But it's just like, it's like an energy of procrastination. Like there's a lot of love, but there's a lot of procrastination, you know? And it's like, this is, this especially to me is like, look, they're trying to get their life together. They're trying to come back to you with a stable love offer, but they're taking their sweet time doing it. Some of them are like, oh, some of them have a lot of anxiety. So they're trying to perfect it. That's what I'm feeling. But some of you, there's someone here that's lost patience. So this person, and that's, this is the opposite of whoever this person is. So there's one person here who's trying to get their life together because they're jealous. They don't want to see you with, with anyone else. Or this could be you. You or them. Take it as it resonates. But there's one person here who's, yeah, they're trying to get their life together. They're trying to figure out what to say. They're planning everything out. And I'm getting that the other person has broken. Like, they don't have the patience to keep waiting for this. So they've sent a message. Or they're really close to sending a message. I'd say within a few days. Now, this could be you that's about to send a message. Or it could be your person. You know, take it as it resonates. 
But someone here is not doing this energy anymore. Someone here is like, I'm just feeling that impatient energy. Like I'm channeling this, like I'm channeling someone that's just like, oh, hell no, I'm not waiting for this anymore. Like not in like a negative way. Like they're not shutting this person out in any way. Like I'm not getting that. I'm just getting that they're like, okay, like, you know, especially with like fall, they're like, fall is so beautiful. Like it's Halloween. Like, you know, it, it's that energy. They're like, I'm not, I'm not going to waste fall alone. Like I'm not going to, you know what I mean? Like that's the kind of energy I'm feeling from it. Like someone's like, I'm not going to be by myself in October, November. Like this is like, this is cuddle season. This is, you know, they're in that energy. So so yeah, there's one person here trying to take their sweet time, trying to overthink, trying to be like a king or queen of swords and be logical and do it right and kind of procrastinating, almost like making excuses out of fear is kind of the energy I get too, where it's like they don't want to be rejected. So they kind of keep telling themselves like, oh, I'll text him or her tomorrow. I'll text them maybe next week. Maybe I'll wait till Sunday. Maybe I'll wait till next week. Maybe I'll, you know, and this other person, whoever the second person is, can feel this energy and they're like, no, no more of that. So this other person, and again, they're not necessarily giving up on this person. They're just saying, like, we're not doing this cycle anymore. Like, you're obviously, someone stopped waiting. Someone kept waiting for this person, whoever this was, to get their life together. And they're no longer waiting. So that could be you. That could be a warning for you. You might be in this energy where you're trying to get your life together. You're trying to perfect everything. And this other person, your divine masculine or your divine feminine, it's like, no, I'm not waiting anymore. So it's kind of like a warning, like expect a message. Like you might just get a message because this person doesn't want to keep waiting. And they, they don't, I don't want to say they don't have faith, but they just kind of feel like you're not going to message first at this point is kind of the energy I pick up from it. So some of them have gone ahead and just messaged you first or they're about to within a few days. So it's kind of like a warning for that where it's like you think you're going to have till, you know, you think you have this deadline, like oh, I'll do it next week, next week, next week. And surprise you wake up tomorrow morning and you've got a message from this person you know from your from this other person that doesn't want to keep waiting for this forever you know and not a bad message I feel like it'd be a positive message but it would just be someone kind of saying like hey like are we doing this like what's up you know are we doing this or what like like I love you I miss you I think I feel like it'd be positive I feel like it'd be like a romantic message like it'd be a good message but it would just be someone kind of like saying like, you know what, I'm not willing to wait for everything to be perfect. You know, life is never going to be perfect. Like, let's do this now. What's up? You know, like that kind of energy or someone wanting like clarity, someone wanting to just move forward finally with, with you know, the two of you together. Like, yeah, I basically just get that energy that someone's someone's broken or someone's about to break so it might be like a, a warning that like you might be in this energy where you think you can you think you have all this time and before you know it someone's going to catch you off guard and just send you a message because you know someone's got to give you know it's a it's like that alicia keys song what is it um god not, what is that one song um unthinkable unthinkable is the, is the alicia keys song i'm thinking of <laughs> You know, someone's got to make a move tonight. Who is it going to be? Time is only waiting, so why wait for eventually? If we're going to do something about it, we should do it right now. And then it's a really romantic, sweet song. So it's not a bad message that you're getting, but it is an impatient message. You know what I mean? It is someone that's like, dude, I'm not like, we're, I'm not waiting anymore. Like, let's let's get this on the road. And that might be a surprise. You know what I mean? Like, you guys might have been waiting for each other, and it's like someone just, someone's caving here, you know? Um... So yeah, for some, it's a warning that you're about to get this message if you're in, if you're the one in this energy. For others, I feel like, what, what is the energy here? Let me see. You're my best friend. It's a really good reading, I'd say, you know. Yeah, for others, it's like it's you, like you're about to send this message because you don't have the patience to start or patience to start, patience to wait. I don't know why I said patience to start. I want to pull some of my tarot cards, actually. I have commitment issues. I've gotten used to being alone. At this time, it's best to wait for me to reach out first. I have a bad habit of taking you for granted. I lied to you. 
I looked for love in all the wrong places. Yeah, this is like the same energy I'm getting. It's like, yeah, I'm aware you're my, you're my soulmate or my twin flame. You're the one. I want to cuddle with you. I'm afraid you'll never forgive me. Your energy draws me in. You're mesmerizing. You're beautiful inside and out. Yeah, this is like this. To me, this feels like someone who's just like really, really procrastinating. Like you can feel their desire to message you, you know, like someone here. Both these people have a strong desire to be together. Both these people in this energy group have a very strong desire to be together, to um, to take this relationship to the next level, you know, be that marriage, commitment, uh reconciliation whatever it might be but i'm just getting that you might think that you have a lot of time to figure it out and then you're going to get the surprise message from this other person that's just you know tired of waiting for this person to figure it out because there's so much back and forth energy here or you also you know like i said you could also be the person that's that's over here that's not in this energy this is your person and and you're about to cave because you're kind of like you know, tired of waiting for that energy to come around. But yeah, someone's caving here. And how is this going to look? What is this going to, what's this? So someone's caving here. And for a lot of you, it's you. So I don't want to be like, you know what I mean? Because then you guys are watching this. You're like, okay, bitch. Like, you just told me something I already know. Like, I know I'm impatient. I know I want to message this person. Like, okay, but let's see how that's going to go, though. What, what is this going to? So yeah, someone's breaking. I don't know. Whether it's you or your person, someone, if you're in this energy group, someone is someone's breaking someone cannot be away from you any longer someone cannot wait for you to perfect your life anymore someone's like nah like you're mine like the time is now you know what I mean like someone just doesn't have the patience anymore but I mean it's not like I said it's not a negative thing like I'm not feeling like this I'm not feeling like this this message is going to be like rejection or anything like that I'm feeling like the message is going to be more like you know just like I miss you like are we doing this or what like what's going on like just kind of like Trying to trying to reconcile, trying to get that get things off the ground finally. Seven of Pentacles. So how is this communication gonna go? What's this gonna look like for you guys? Queen of Cups. Eight of Swords. Knight of Wands reversed. devil it's not I don't think it's bad well let me see let me see what the cards I get I see it more as like yeah like someone's in a very vulnerable emotional place and they've been waiting but like someone else is also like an eight of swords where it's like they keep it's that person that keeps procrastinating keeps kind of taking too long here you know keeps like getting in their head and not realizing like they have an easy way out of this like this person it's almost like someone's like thinking the worst. They're assuming the worst. They're having this anxiety. They're thinking that they lost you or vice versa. And it's like if they just wake up and get out of the Eight of Swords energy, they're going to realize that you were right there all along, that they still they still have a chance with you. You know what I mean? Like there's like a clear opening if they just wake up and get out of this like kind of victim Eight of Swords mentality. You know, this is something the Queen of Cups has been fighting for, something that she's been patient with. The Devil, the Five of Cups, Ace of Cups, that's interesting, okay. Two of Cups, ooh, that's a good, that's, okay. <laughs> I'm actually seeing it as this message is going to be letting you know like so, okay for some of you your person was um with the karmic or you could have been with the karmic it's possible like maybe you were with the karmic and you know you're letting to you're needing to let your person know that you know you wrap that up for others i just feel like i just feel like there's like a message coming in from someone and you know take it as it resonates because for some of you are sending the message but for others like your your um your person sending this message like you know there's someone here that's basically just been waiting too long and getting an eight of swords energy too much and the other person is just there's there's mutual vulnerability there's mutual emotion here like you both miss each other a lot you both love each other a lot 
So someone's breaking down here and just messaging. But I feel like the message you're going to get is, and this could be a message letting you know that you need to let your person know that you've let go of a karmic. Because I'm getting, I know there's like, I know I have a couple women here that were in like abusive relationships. And for some reason I'm getting like physically abusive relationships. And for some reason I'm getting a message here that like maybe you, and I don't know who this would be for, but like I know there's like a lot of women on here that, you know, have been through that. But I'm just getting like a message that maybe some of you do need to, maybe this is like a message for you saying, hey, like if you're the one that left, maybe like reach out and let them know that this is, that you've let this devil energy go, that this is in the past now, you know? Um, for others, it's like your person is going to, and it could, it could be either way, you know what I mean? For others, it's like it could be um, your person letting you know that they let go of the karmic. Or I could just see this as a general conversation about the karmic. So it's like the person that was not in the karmic relationship might have messaged you and just said, hey, like they might have asked about it or they might have said something like, you know, like let you know that um, that you're safe, that you're protected. They might have let you know that... Um, at any number of things here, you know, I just see this as like some kind of con con conversation about the karmic because the karmic is like this devil energy, like these old toxic stagnant patterns, these, these karmic energy that they've, they've let go of, you know, someone wants to let you know, or you want to let someone know that you've let go of this energy. Someone here wants to, um, wants to make it clear with the five of cups here that they let that ship sail away. They don't have any desire to chase that ship. They're they're good off the karmic, you know, they want this new start with you, they want this, you're their soulmate, you're their twin flame, you're their true love, they want this new start with the ace of cups and the two of cups here, this is really good energy, so someone's, someone's either wanting to let you know that they have let someone go, or they're wanting to ask if you've let someone go, or they're possibly wanting to, um, just have like a general conversation and just, you know, maybe both of you want to talk about this. Both of you are like at that point where, you know, you're kind of both on board with this energy of like, yeah, the karmic's out. You know what I mean? Like someone just wants to have some like clarity and some kind of communication here because they want this new start with you. So it's just a look. It's just a message here to be on the lookout for, um, for messages. Because I just remember in the dream I had, it was like, expect communication came through so strongly this is for those in no contact it's like it was just you know my spirit guides were like let those in no contact like know this that you know communication is coming in like be mindful because you might not expect it some of you are like think you have all the time in the world and you keep procrastinating and then you know you find yourself at work and it's like you get a message that you didn't you know what i mean just like kind of like they don't want you to be too shocked you know what i mean even if it's a good message it can still be shocking you know what i mean like even if it even if it's positive even if they're just basically like you know talking to you about this and and clearing this up and and letting you know they want to reconcile and they want a new start with you um even if it's a positive message it still might kind of shock you so they want you to to be mindful of that Eight of Cups. Yeah, someone wants to start a new life with you. And some of them, like, if, if you haven't been in contact with your person for a long time, like, let's say it's been months and months... Some of them might not know how to find you or they might be finding you someplace like where you wouldn't expect to look. Like let's say you have like an old Instagram account that you haven't logged into for like a few months or so. Like maybe they, they maybe they messaged you there because that's like, you know, that's where just, that's where they thought to look. That's where you were last online. But maybe since then you've deactivated your Instagram, you know. It could be like that kind of energy where it's like like, be mindful, be aware, be open to communication, you know what I mean? Like, think about who this person is and, you know, would they call you, would they message you? Like, be kind of mindful of that energy, be be prepared for this so that you're not completely shocked. Um, yeah, for some, it's like, I mean, for a lot of you, it's like, you know, I, well, no, I guess that was more for my first group, never mind, sorry. <laughs> 
Yeah, someone wants to be public. Someone wants to be in the public eye. Like, this requires strength that someone's ready to start a new life with you. Someone's ready to let the world know, too. Someone has the strength to let the world know. I actually see both of you guys in this energy, to be honest. Both of you are, like, in this Six of Wands energy. Like, let's let the public know. Let's let everybody know. You know, come what may. Let whatever rumors want to come up, come up. You know, no one cares, like... Having the strength to just go through it together, you know, true love, conquering all, basically, kind of energy. Like, someone here, or both of you, just want to be public at this point. You both want to just be like, like, you know what, we're starting a new life together. I don't give a shit who likes it. You know, some of you, it's like your friends or family don't like it, or their friends or family don't like it. And someone here just doesn't care anymore. They're like, you know what, they don't have to like it. I don't give a shit. Like, you know, they want it. They want to show you off. They want to be public with you. Yeah, Knight of Cups, you got a lot of really good cards here. So this message, I'm feeling like it's good. It's positive. You know what I mean? So you don't have to be scared of this. I feel like some of you are like scared of this message. Some of you are like anticipating this message. Like you feel like your person has just messaged you someplace and like maybe you don't want to see the message. Like maybe you have the message, but you don't want to open it or um, you feel like it's coming in soon. And some of you are like kind of scared to like, what is this message about? But I feel like it's going to be like a love message. I mean, it might be assertive, it might be forward, but I feel like overall, it's going to be about, you know, like someone wanting a new start with you, someone wanting to pick up the pieces and move forward and be public with you and show you off and tell the tell their friends or to their family, you know, tell everybody basically just stand up for you here, you know, like someone wants to stand up for the connection and basically just, you know, everyone can know like this isn't being hidden anymore this isn't being kept in the closet anymore this is you know you guys are coming out here yeah like they don't they don't give a shit they'll fight people for you like they want everybody to know they're proud of you they want to be with you you know like they're willing to fight for you they really are you know you're, you're willing to fight for each other it's like some of you have toxic like family members or something that didn't want to see you together and someone's at the point where they don't give a shit what their family thinks they're choosing you because they want a new start with the fool here. I'm going to wrap this reading up. But as always, if you want a private reading from me, just send me an email. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. My email is right below in the description box below this video. Uh, please subscribe if it resonates to you. And please share. Maybe someone else needs to hear this message. What's up with the three of swords here? Eight of wands. Yeah, someone's moving on from like from a heartbreak real, real quick. For some, I feel like this person might have gone through some stress or through some kind of heartbreak here. And they move on past that quickly. <laughs> like, they're... For some, I'm getting that, like... This is going to sound weird, but they tried to pretend to be heartbroken over the karmic because they felt kind of heartless because they really did not give a shit and they felt so happy and so free to be... Just so happy to be free of the karmic. Like, they felt like they were just, like, happier than ever being free of the karmic. But some of them pretended to be heartbroken because they felt, like, they don't feel bad for her anymore. Like, for those that are, you know, for those of them that are, like, actually moved out and, like, they've, you know, they're, they've progressed along the storyline. They don't feel bad for the karmic anymore. But some of them did pretend to be heartbroken over the karmic because they just felt bad because, like, Everyone was, like, seeing how happy they were and how free they were. And they're like, dude, you don't even care that, like, this just happened? And, and he's like, oh, sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm super upset. Like, super heartbroken. Like, <laughs> for others, I just feel like this could have been, like, financial struggles because we do have the King of Pentacles here. So I kind of see this as someone who, like, I just see this as someone who got out of the Three of Swords energy quickly. Like, someone who's, like... You know, they might have gone through some struggle, through some trauma, but they're they're moving forward quick and they're becoming the King of Pentacles. Or you're about to be with the King of Pentacles. Take it how it resonates, you know. Yeah, someone this is all about starting a new life with your true love. This is such a beautiful reading. And this card right here means the light after a period of darkness, like the light, you know, the sunrise basically. Yeah, coming out of poverty. What is what's next? Yeah. That's such an interesting energy. Five of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. The karmic might try to lie to affect... So for those in a third-party situation, the karmic might try to lie here is what I'm getting to affect this person's finances, but it's not actually going to work. He's going to be the King of Pentacles or the Queen of Pentacles, whether the karmic likes it or not. 
Um, cause we've got 10 of pentacles, 10 of cups here. <laughs> we've got like everything here. You know what I mean? Where it's like there, this person's going to try to lie to cause someone to be in five of pentacles energy and it's not going to work. And the karmic's going to have to see this person be blessed with every 10 of cups. is like perfection. This is like true love, family, home, a new job, everything they could ever dream of. You know, we have so many good cards here. Um, so the karmic's, yeah, again, as always, the karmic's bullshit's going to backfire on her. It's not going to work. And it's actually going to turn into blessings for this divine couple, for those in a third party situation. Let me wrap this up before my uh, video cuts it out. Yeah, new start with finances, with love, with everything. Someone might be going through a phase of healing. The high priestess, you're, you're leveling up psychically. Your person's leveling up psychically. You're leaving the old behind with the death card here. You're leaving the old control issues behind. You're leaving the old stubborn, stagnant ways of thinking behind. And you're opening your mind up. So that you can become this intuitive divine person, this intuitive divine leader, you know, two of pentacles, six of cups. Yeah, someone never let you go. Someone, someone just wants peaceful, stable times with you. Someone just wants to come back to you. So yeah, expect someone to, um, yeah, you know, someone's going inward to make this decision that they, they can't be away from you anymore, that their peace is with you, their happiness is with you. That they're they're willing to go through this. They're willing to risk looking stupid to be with you. You have so many energy, so much energy about intuition and psychic awakening and new starts here. Like, just it's beautiful. Yeah, the karmic is gonna try to manifest herself out of this because there's no communication between the the DM and the karmic. But um, again, she's not gonna be able to. <laughs> Look at the Nine of Pentacles and the Sun. This DM is moving on. He's moved on. He and him and the car. Yeah, the karmic's gonna be stagnant, and she's gonna be forced to. You know, she's not. She's not able to maintain that temperance energy. So she's gonna be able to watch that. She's gonna have to watch this uh, Queen of Wands and King of Pentacles live their best life together, happy, happy, successful, stable. I've got so many good cards here. Okay, okay. I better stop because. The video is probably about to cut out. But as always, if you want to write, if you, if you want a reading, if you want fucking Mercury retrograde, oh my god, if you want, a, if you want a writing, maybe someone's a horseback rider here. I don't fucking know. Um, if you want a reading, just email me. My email is listed below in the description box. Please subscribe, like, share. But yeah, overall, really good energy. Um, you need to send a message if you're if you're the one that like some of you. You need to send a message, and you're feeling this, like you're feeling like it's time, like you kind of know this person's gonna be stagnant. And full disclaimer, I'm not responsible for what you do. Only take this if it resonates. I I don't want anyone blaming me if they message and it doesn't go well. That's that's you know don't do that. Just don't. This is you know use your intuition here. You got to use your own intuition here too because there's there's different messages here for different people. All the same energy group though, but um, but yeah, it's really good energy here. It's it's really good. I'm just getting that someone's getting a message. Someone, someone wants things cleared up. There's it's like yeah, there's there's honesty and there's assertiveness in this message, but it's it's also like they want this new start with you. They want to get things moving. So, um, be on the lookout for that message. Be on you know be aware. Like I said, someone's like I because I keep getting like Instagram like someone's trying to find someone on Instagram, but you're not on Instagram anymore. You know, I don't know how Instagram works because I had like a profile a while ago and I don't like, can you message people on Instagram? I think you can, right? I had it, but I never used it. I'm kind of like an old person with technology, <laughs> but um, I, I just keep your Instagram for somebody like check your Instagram account, check your Instagram account. Um, but yeah, that's what I get. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and send this out.